This is a video on how to make whipped cream out of three simple ingredients. We got vanilla, maple syrup, and heavy whipping cream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one full quart of this, add it to the bowl, then add some maple, maple syrup, um, about a half cup, and then it would be like a quarter cup of vanilla or four, uh, four tablespoons. We'll see. Now, normally I don't really measure anything, but for you, I will do that. That seems like a lot of sugar. We'll put some of that in there. And we'll put it all in. There we go. And really, vanilla is to taste. Uh, let's put a splash in. There we go. I'm gonna lift this up. I got it on four. I guess I can go to five. You don't want to over whip it. Overlooking fat. Getting thicker. You can see it getting thicker. Now. Okay, see how it's uh, pretty solid here? It can hold a it can hold a point up. That means it's pretty ready. Yum. To make an ice box cake, you're gonna have to have some of these famous chocolate wafers from Nabisco. You can find them in the Nabisco section of your grocery store. You're also gonna need some of this. Now before you get started, you're gonna wanna make sure it's gonna taste good. So you, you dip one of these in there. And you say, mmm. That's good. Now, normally, we'd use some food coloring, but we're just gonna do the inside because we're in a rush. Then we'll do the outside with some food coloring. To get started, you're gonna wanna just get a couple going, and you can stand them up, kind of like that. You put the next one on. So you're gonna wanna make whatever shape you're gonna make. We're just gonna go simple with a log, shall we call it. This is how much one box makes. But we got two boxes and we got a lot more whipped cream. So we're gonna have to do double that. People are gonna eat it. That is about two boxes. That's enough to feed a lot of people because it's really rich. But now we're gonna cover it because we got enough to just cover it. We're gonna get some uh, food coloring in there. Make it look nice. We added a little food coloring. Now it's red. So you're gonna just smear this over the outside, hide the log. Hopefully we have enough, otherwise we'll slide them together. Looks like we got enough. It turns out to be the perfect amount to do two boxes of wafers. There we go. Now we're gonna cover it with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours or overnight. 